can't be where she lives. We saw her walk in. Yes, and if she lived here, she'd smell like an unbathed horse. Have you sniffed her then? No. about him is his outfit. Meow. Is that you out there, Grandfather? That's Susan's voice! <laughs> Must have been the wind. Uh, yes, my girl, it's just me. Do you mind unlocking the door? I, I appear to have dropped a key somewhere. How do I know you're not an imposter? Don't be daft, girl. <laughs> It's me. Hello. What are you doing here? Oh, we're looking for a girl. We? Uh, <laughs> good evening. Two grown adults looking for a young girl. I suggest you both get out of here before I give you both smacked bottoms. Uh, no, you see, we're teachers from Coal Hill School. Uh, one of our pupils, Susan Foreman, came into this yard. Really? In here? Are you sure? Are you positive? Are you mad? Yes. Uh... We, we are quite sorry. A junkyard in the middle of nowhere. Stop asking silly questions. Yes, we are sure. Well, don't get shouting with me, young lady. Now tell me why you're following her. We heard a voice call out here. It doesn't answer my question, but your hearing must be quite acute to be hearing voices such as that. I certainly couldn't hear anything. Grandfather, is everything all right? I was just the wind. Have you had one of your farting fits again? Susan, would you mind? So that isn't wind. Come Lock the door. Barbara, lock the door. What are you doing here? What the devil have you done to my TARDIS, girl? Uh, it turns out this isn't the TARDIS. It's just a junked police box without clothes in it. Then why have you just been standing in it? Oh, this. I'm going back to Gallifrey. I had much smarter ancestors there anyway. There's no staircase here. Don't know why I'm trying to fool you. 